We have about a mile and a half from here to our first campsite. Tonight we are camping at Hermit Gulch, which is just outside of the town of Avalon. Santa Catalina Island is one of California's Channel Islands. Located 20 miles off the coast of mainland California, the island is accessible by ferry boat. So we've gone a little bit more than a mile and a half. Uh, there was a bit of a logistical error. An error caused by inconsistent maps ended up being a catalyst for a challenge that I wasn't sure I would take on with this trip. The additional miles we hiked were unexpected but welcomed, especially with the stunning view of the sunset over the Pacific, and wheels were set in motion in my mind about completing the full island traverse. Your trash is not flying away. So today it's 10.7 miles. How much water are you going to carry? Probably two and a half liters. I'm just thinking like cutting like that right across here. I think we don't have to go all the way to the trail, but I think we should just walk through the grass. Okay. Just on the next little ridge, there is a solo bison who's very close to the trail. For quite a while, he was actually walking on the trail. Moving our way up the hill. I see you now. You're facing us. Um, you're not exhibiting any signs of aggressive behavior. So I shall just continue to walk past you without making eye contact and do so. Are you laying down? Yeah. Is he laying down? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice, very nice, like that. How do you feel about that? Oh, okay. This afternoon spent on trail was the start of me feeling freedom in my body and spiritual inspiration. I was feeling fit and energized. I felt the freest and happiest that I have been on trail in a long time. Being able to move through the sunshine and landscape with the vibrancy and joy had me dreaming of days on trail to come.
your food, baby. Hmm? I'm gonna have a lot of mashed potatoes. <laughs> Are they just plain, or did you get cheesy ones, or buttery home style? Actually, no. I think it's the same. Yeah. It's Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. <laughs> and hopefully a little snacky resupply because I've been tearing through these snacks. My Aunt Catherine and I spent most of this day hiking separately, hiking our own hikes at our own pace. I wanted to see what my body could do, and so I did a lot of running when I felt compelled. As much as I was soaking in the present moment, I was enthralled with the prospect of moving towards bigger adventures to come. I started thinking seriously about adding on additional miles to the penultimate day on trail so that I could complete the Catalina Island Traverse and head out to Starlight Beach. I sometimes have issues with my confidence, and so I thought I'd meet this opportunity head on by putting in the work to go the extra miles and really see what I could do.
Fortunately, your water doesn't have to be boiling to make oatmeal. That's true. Is it, was it hot enough? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's fine. Good morning, it's early. The sun won't come up for another hour and a half, but I have to get everything ready. Today, I'm doing 16 miles, so I'm gonna leave camp before my Aunt Catherine. Um, she's gonna go a different way. We're actually gonna take different paths, like today and tomorrow. I left about five minutes later than I wanted to, but with good reason, I, I actually ran out of fuel in my canister stove the other day. I bought one here in town. Something was wrong with it. It wasn't working out. It might have been actually my stove, but anyway, the guy at the campsite next to us, they're leaving today on the ferry. He had an extra stove, I mean extra, or he had his canister, so he offered for me to take it, but after he made coffee. So I was absolutely super grateful for that. So I don't have to eat cold soaked mashed potatoes with Quest chips tonight. Um, <laughs> no, would have figured it out. But um, yeah, as I said, I was able to take the stove with or the fuel with me. <laughs> very hungry so 
I'm making some mashed potatoes before I make more. This is camp. Camp for tonight. So I'm going to drop some stuff. Um, I'm going to keep this and then I'm going to hike more. As I'm walking up this hill, there's all these little squirrels here. They're on the left side in the bushes. I don't even know they're there. They hear me coming and they scurry across the trail right in front of me to the bushes on the right side. <laughs> like, what the heck? So funny. I'm like, dude, you were totally safe. I didn't know you were there. Thanks for making yourself really apparent. <laughs> anyway, I left camp about 11.15. And I'm headed out to Starlight Beach. Should be between four and five miles to get out there. And it's hot. <laughs> it is warm right now. So just taking my time while I'm climbing. My instinct is saying no, that this is not passable. <laughs> so, but maybe I can climb up on it. That just looks sketchy AF right there. Um, I just don't see that there's a way safely through this, uh, there is a big fissure about 15 feet to the left of me. And so even if I was willing to take the risk of traversing this talus field, there's no way to get across that fissure safely. Uh, down below me, this cliff is really, really steep and it's got a field of cactus. <laughs> Just a little bit annoyed right now. It's okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> Last time you saw me, I was trying to figure out a way to get past the washed out trail to Starlight Beach. So, Actually, what ended up happening is a couple of guys, a couple of hikers, were coming from Starlight Beach, and they got to like the washout section too, and we like waved at each other. It's like, I'm trying to get where you are, and you're trying to get where I am, and they they couldn't really tell. Like they walked up on the edge, on that really big rock that had collapsed and kind of caused the whole slide or what I don't I don't know what caused it but they walked up on the on that and I was like well okay maybe if I climb up I can meet the trail so I climb up one section and then there was like this area where there were some trees some yeah like some what had been really branchy <laughs> trees and there was clearly like sort of a path through those so I'm like climbing up this thing like get through here because there's the fissure and so one of the the guy that was above me he's like well there's kind of a path through the branches that way and I was like okay like let me let me try that um, so I take a few steps that way and then I go to, to take another step and I hear I could hear where it was and it was it was like right where I was about to take a step it was just there were so many branches and stuff everywhere I could I like I didn't have a clear vision of anything am I hearing what I think I'm hearing the first thing out of my mouth was a lot of times and then I was just like move, trying to move away as quickly as possible and I'm like it's a snake I had so much adrenaline moving through my body that my legs were shaking and I was just like what the 
because I'm I've been very aware that there are rattlesnakes on the trails here um, but at that moment I was so preoccupied with trying to figure out my my route that it wasn't crossing my mind I mean it worked out I was fine the rattlesnake gave me my warning I moved away you know it, it, it didn't want to bite me it was just it was a scary encounter just because it was an encounter um, but at that point it was enough I had had enough um, you know I'm proud of myself I did just about 16 miles today um, I came back here to this beach by about 2 p.m. Um, and it's nice to be able to like calm down <laughs> yeah In life, we won't achieve all of our goals, but the important thing is to rally and keep going. If you miss an opportunity, take the next one and try again. If you fall down, pick yourself up. If motivation stalls, focus on discipline and keep moving. As long as you have the courage to keep trying, you cannot fail. This is fun. This is fun. Type 2 fun. But I like this. This is fun. I keep telling myself that. Just kind of all this. I'm headed. There. The shade structure. You can see it. That's where I'll take a break. More climbing. Yay. It's hot. Sweating buckets. This is fun. <laughs> I just reached Cat Harbor. It's 11 o'clock. My goal was to be in two harbors by 11.30. And I think this is achievable. I just have to put my camera away. And I'm probably going to have to pick up the pace <laughs> just a little bit. I don't know. I could probably keep this pace, but uh, I have extra energy. So let me get there as quickly as possible. And um, I might eat some ice cream. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get some ice cream. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, just finished up. Let's see. What time is it? 11.14. Nice. 